For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, live on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to wait. For the record, for the record. All right, what is going on everybody? Dylan K. Johnson here. Welcome back to another training log. So today is going to be a pretty quick video. We are going to be doing an arm workout. So basically with this, I may have mentioned, if you guys kind of have checked the um, workout links in the description, that I am going to be switching over, or at least I wanted to switch over to a push-pull legs arm split instead of just traditional push-pull legs, push-pull legs rest. What I'm going to be doing now is switching over to a push-pull legs arm and then taking an optional rest day if I want or repeating it and then again taking an optional rest day um, if I want uh, or a required rest day if I didn't take the previous optional rest day so hopefully that makes sense let me know if you have any questions even down below in the comment section and I'll try to help you guys understand it a little better if you're curious but anyway like I said we're gonna be doing arms today and we're gonna be hitting biceps first and then we're gonna be moving into triceps now this workout like I said is gonna be kind of quick just because I have not been doing a lot of like high intensity direct arm work I've kind of been doing it like towards the end of my push or pull days so my arms have already been pretty kind of like pre-fatigued um, both my triceps are like on push days have been pre-fatigued my biceps have been pre-fatigued on um, back days on pull days so I haven't done a whole lot of like direct intense targeted movements for my arms so I'm keeping the volume or well, not necessarily the volume but I'm keeping the workload kind of lower today so that I'm not like overtaxing my arms. Um, I can say that that was a good decision because it is two days later and my arms are pretty damn sore. So yeah, it was definitely a good decision to um, make sure that I didn't push myself too hard today and just kind of start getting accustomed to the higher volume and higher intensity of doing a full arm, a full dedicated arm workout. So anyway, uh, enough of that spiel moving into the actual workout itself we're starting off with some easy bar curls now with this we're gonna be doing a couple different intensity techniques first off we're gonna be doing FST 7 meaning we're gonna be doing seven sets of around 10 to 12 reps per set and with these sets we're gonna be keeping the rest period between sets approximately 30 to 45 seconds now on top of that we're gonna be doing a few other things here so we're gonna be hitting six to eight reps, just normal. Try and keep uh, form under control. Try and control the weight all the way up. Squeeze all the way down, controlled. Don't just let the weight fall. Six to eight reps. Then we're gonna do two to four reps, controlled negatives. So as you start to fatigue, the weight's gonna be a little bit heavier, especially towards the last couple sets. You're gonna just force the weight up, control the negative, try and control it to a descent of like two to three seconds or a two to three count. Once that's finished, you should be at about the 12 rep mark. Then we're gonna hit four to five forced partial reps. So you'll see with these sets at the very end, after I've done those forced negatives, then I just kind of go about halfway up, so about half the range of motion, and I'm just trying to get in a little bit of extra volume, force a little bit more blood into the biceps, and again, just trying to really increase that intensity. Now. The last thing that we're going to be doing, like I said, we're incorporating a lot of different intensity techniques here, so this is a little bit more advanced, is we're gonna be doing blood flow restriction training. So we did this a little bit with yesterday's leg workout on the leg press, but we're gonna be doing this with almost every single exercise today. Um, and what we're gonna be doing is between sets, so here you can see I was going through doing some flexing, getting some blood into it, but between sets, what I want you guys to do is keep your arms elevated above your heart, meaning that you're gonna keep them up kind of like, as you saw, I kept my hands kind of right behind my head, just basically keeping my arms up above my head, up above my heart, so that the blood isn't able to pool in them. And then after I finish off my set, so I'll go back, do whatever it is, do the easy bar curls, or we come into the next exercise, same kind of deal, do my set, and then I go right back into keeping my arms up. Do a little bit of flexing here and there, a little bit of stretching, but I'm keeping my arms elevated to try and keep the blood from flowing back to them as much as possible. Now what that's gonna do is it's going to crazily increase the pump the second our arms drop down as the blood rushes back, like I talked about in the last uh, episode when we did this. So 
That's the last intensity technique we're doing for that exercise. Now, once we finish off with all seven working sets, then we move into the next exercise, which is going to be a lying, um, lying incline or lying. What is this? What would this be called? A lying um, overhead cable curl. So I don't know if that's the actual name. That's just kind of, it is what it, you can see exactly what it is. So I'm laying down on the ground or you can be laying on a bench, got the cable above your head using a straight bar. And we're basically doing like the reverse of a skull crusher on here. We're going to, doing, going to be doing four sets of around 10 to 12 reps again. So going a little bit heavier, but with this, I want you to try and focus on pausing at the, at the peak. So when you're all the way down, fully contracted on the biceps, pause and squeeze for a one to two count and then control that negative again as you start to fatigue so like the last set or two then you might need to do a couple of like forced reps which you'll kind of see towards the end of this here where you just kind of use a little bit more mo more momentum force it down but then again try and pause and squeeze hold that contraction before letting your arms back up now between sets, again, we're doing blood flow restriction training here, so we're keeping our arms elevated. You can see throughout the clips, my arms are staying up, keeping them elevated above my heart, and that's preventing the blood from flowing back to my arms. That means that when I stand up, I drop my arms back down, all that blood is gonna brush back to my arms, it's gonna fill my biceps up, and the pump is just insane. Like I was talking about yesterday, if you're doing it right, your arms will they'll definitely feel like they're going to burst open. Um, it might even go a little bit numb, but it's a crazy good feeling. If you guys like the pump, it's a, one of my favorite intensity techniques. Um, and with this one, it's not as crazy as if you were doing like occlusion training, we're actually wrapping, uh, like a tourniquet lightly around your arms to actually like do the same type of deal. Um, blood flow restriction training, it's not quite as intense as that, but it still is, a, it's, it's still something that you should try. So anyway, after that, then we moved into some spider curls, hit three sets, 10, 12 reps there. Same kind of deal between sets, keeping my arms elevated, blood flow restriction, just keeping them over my head. With the working sets there, I was trying to keep my grip like as close to the center as possible on that easy curl bar and then just trying to avoid using momentum as much as I could. Nice controlled range of motion, 10, 12 reps, three sets, then we moved into our triceps. So triceps, first movement, straight bar press downs. Here we're going a lot heavier, so we're trying to keep the weight under control and go as heavy as we can for four sets of 10 to 12 reps again. So that's kind of the theme for this whole workout is around 10 to 12 reps, going a little bit heavier. And same thing, like I said before, between sets, keeping our arms elevated above our heads, keep that blood from flowing back to our arms as much as possible until we finish off with the exercise. Something else that I did here on the very last set you saw there was I did basically like a pause at the bottom and then just paused halfway through the negative or the descent and just tried to hold that and squeeze as hard as I can. Just something that I threw in there just for fun before I finished out the set. Um, again there, four set or yeah, four sets, 10 to 12 reps, go heavy, controlled, but heavy. Then we move into the last exercise. Like I was talking about before, not a lot of um, exercises here, pretty quick workout overall is like 45 minutes. Um, but it is an intense one. I will warn you. It's very intense, very high intensity. Um, your arms will be sore after this if you do it right but we're doing an overhead tricep cable extension. Uh, with this one, this is a perfect movement to do the occlusion train, or not occlusion, but blood flow restriction training because your arms are already staying elevated over your heart. So you just keep them there after you finish out the set and then you just move right into the next set after 30, 45 second rest. So with this one, a few things to note, Notice how at the peak, I'm trying to push and drive the cables forward and apart, really trying to pull them apart at the peak of the range of motion. Here, we're doing 12 to 15 reps, followed by two to five forced partial reps after that. So you'll see after this set, at the end of this set, um, well, this one actually, the weight got too heavy. This was the last set and I had to drop it in between in the middle of it, basically do a drop set, um, in order to hit my desired reps, but yeah, finish it out with some partials and 
once you're finished, try and do a little bit of flexing, a little bit of stretching. Make sure that you do um, a little bit of stretching after the workout, otherwise you will be pretty damn sore. But overall, that's gonna be the workout for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. This was a this was a solid workout. Really enjoyed it. I'll definitely be doing this again. And as I start doing arms more, I will be incorporating a few more exercises for triceps. But that's it for me today, guys. I will see you in the next one. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, flab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time away.